Welcome back. Let's uh, zoom in a little here. So in my prior video, I discussed some of the potential plans and strategy for each side and mentioned that we had uh, gone through some of the pre-turn activities in terms of, uh, I guess, well, they're not pre-turn activities, but some of the stuff that needs to get done. So some of the supply bits and pieces, uh, moving some units uh, from Tripoli uh, to, uh, to the, I guess, to entry points of the map, right? Uh, on map A, which is far left from what you're seeing right now. And then uh, putting some uh, units for the allies into reserve mode. You can see one or two right there. But really now we're, we're getting stuck into it and getting started. And one of the first things I want to do as the access player being the first turn, a first player in the first turn of this particular campaign is uh, I want to build a airfield here next turn. Uh, expand the capacity here and that'll allow me to stage if I make it level one stage five um, let's see five uh, active aircraft number one <clears throat> and then number two I can uh, I can fly double the capacity out of there and it also gives me a patrol range where I can I can reach ten hexes into the backfield of the enemy's uh, uh, area of operations but before I do any of that, well, you know, I've moved the piece. We've got to flip him over to combat mode. He'll do his engineering thing and build that next turn. Uh, that'll cost some supply and we'll uh, work that out later. I believe it's going to be 3T because there's already an existing airstrip there. So you get a little bit of a discount. Uh, but I do have this, uh, air, these, uh, this uh, air unit in this X here. And we want him to run some fighter sweeps and try and clear out some of the potential enemy air in the area so that we don't have our bombing runs interfered with. And to do that, we're going to run a fighter sweep. So all of these units are currently active. Before we start the combat, the good guys can elect to not participate in the combat and go inactive, which means uh, for the balance of the turn, they won't be very useful to us, which kind of uh, defeats the point of having aircraft, right? Uh, no intercepts or anything like that. And here's a neat little, whoops, uh, that's my dice tower getting knocked over by the rules. He said, trying to, uh, huge map, no room. Too many pieces of paper uh, for the moment. Let's see, I was gonna show you the new handy dandy helper chart, so I've got to find the one that I want to show you. There's a reference card uh, called the OCS Air Mission Reference Card, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This comes with the, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember the name of it now, the MMP Magazine Special Operations, I think it's called. Uh, the most recent one with the Luzon uh, OCS game. There's a whole bunch of these charts and they're all quite useful if you're familiar with the rules and just want to quickly look up something versus jump into the rule book, you can look at this. So I can see here I'm doing fighter sweeps. I can see that I don't have, uh, have to suffer flak. That was the first thing I was uh, concerned about that I couldn't remember and I was going to look it up in the rules, but hey, you know, I can just grab this and we're good to go. So very handy dandy, love it. <clears throat> and then, then we're going to be referencing the air combat table. And that's going to be this little guy here. So uh, just so we know uh, how it all works, we're basically just going to take uh, four minus three. It's going to be uh, plus, it's going to leave one. We're going to add one to a 2d6 die roll. I roll three dice at a time and the black die will be the damage. If there is any uh, damage is going to occur on a, uh, a uh, five or a six will, uh, We'll put step loss on somebody, depending on what the result is. So we're just going to go down the line here, and the allies that they can choose now to abort. So I might want to, maybe I want to abort one and save. Maybe I'm terribly afraid of these uh, MC 202s. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll leave them all up. So let's leave them all up. That gives me the the as the allies the uh, benefit of the die of the dice gods. And we'll just go for the first one and see what happens. Who knows? We may end up uh, having an abort here. So here we go. All right. Well, that's not an abort. That's an 11. 
uh, it's not an abort for the attacker anyway. So an 11, eight or more defender aborts. So it'll be a 12, 11 plus one is 12. So he aborts. So we're gonna sit him to one side. Do another one. No loss because we roll the three. And this time a little closer. Uh, it's an eight. Plus one is nine. That's gonna eight or more defender's gonna abort. We roll the five, a five or six is a step loss. So now we have a step loss there. So he aborts. So the little uh, Italians are doing good. Here we go again. Okay, this time it's a six with no loss. So it's gonna be a seven, which means both abort. All right, so both abort. They go back uh, to their base and these guys will go to their base and they will be uh, unavailable. And the way I, I you know, I keep track of this in my head, but pretty much I underneath the uh, airbase, they're unavailable. Above the uh, above the airbase, they're uh, available is, or active as the is, as the case may be. So these three chaps are all going to go back and be under the airbase. I'm just going to actually put them physically under the airbase here because it's a little bit crowded into Brook. And this guy stays active. So we'll pop him back in on top of the airbase, along with his uh, Madrid or Marigold, I should say, Marigold uh, fighter bomber doohickey that he has over there. I think it's a fighter bomber. I can't really tell from here, but certainly a, a, a bombing capable. So there, so underneath the base, on top of the base is active, or you can just pop them above like I have here, and then uh, you won't be able to see I don't think you've got to see this guy just out of frame. Like crunk. There we go. So he's he's now marked inactive, right? So that's just a quick look. And I'm going to keep going through uh, with various uh, parts of the map and look for opportunities to do fighter sweeps and degrade the effort of the allied air. So I could do a fighter sweep with this guy. He's a four as well. I could go and fight a sweep that same base again and try and knock that guy out. Or maybe I want to go uh, head to head with some hurricanes, uh, type 2A hurricanes. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them there. There's, uh, there's three of them. Uh, but, you know, someone's got to fight them at some point. I'm going to find a decent unit that can tackle them. Uh, and I don't think I have one that's, that's, that's up for the job, so to speak. No, I don't. Wow, that's very sad. Where I don't have any five rated air at this stage of the war. Nope. Okay. So look, there you go. All right. We'll uh, we'll not uh, make this a protracted video. Quick little snippet. Talk to you soon.